If I wanna change the game for other women, if I wanna make small business a thing in America, I have to continue to raise hell and I have to show up for myself. If we wanna actually do something about it, this is not the time to be hiding our head in the sand and sleeping through the whole thing. Three Hundred Five Fitness is a nonstop dance cardio party. So many fitness brands are all about shame, exclusivity, judgment. I wanted to create a brand that was about self acceptance. As a leader in wellness, I, I didn't feel that it was right to continue to resume business as usual. So we had to close down our studios, which meant that right now our revenue is two percent of what it was about forty-five days ago. Me as a CEO, I'm not taking a salary until we can reopen. And I think that luckily our full-time team, many of them who have been with me for years, were, they understood. It's so painful to have to furlough or lay off. We want our staff, our team to know that we have their backs. And even though financially we can't support them right now, we are here for anything and everything that they need. People always ask me, how did you know what to do next? And I always answer to that. I just did it and then the answers became obvious as I went along. So I pressed play on my laptop. I went live. I said our founder is going live in 15 minutes and we just saw who was going to show up. What we've been doing is getting our workouts up online. So we're growing this audience. We're seeing amazing traction with our YouTube live videos. We're doing twice a day workouts and we're basically just building this community for free online and seeing thousands of people tuning into these workouts. People from all around the world, the kinds of audiences that we might have never been able to touch had we just been a brick and mortar business like we were. This is my really fancy setup for my live stream classes here. It's totally accessible. It's dance and it's cardio, so it's easy to follow moves. We have themes every day. We have 80s, we've got disco, we've got Disney, like just over the top, ridiculous fun themes that just put a goofy big old smile on your face. Whatever we can catch, whatever we can kill in business, that's what we can bring in. So let's just put it all out there. Just because we don't have people's wallet share right now doesn't mean that we don't have their attention. The amount of people that are tuning in, watching us for minutes and minutes on end in a way that before it was so impossible to cut above the noise. So that's what's keeping me grounded and optimistic is just trying to sense the opportunity that might be here. I've been really frustrated by that. We filed on day one, we were prepared, we had every all our ducks in a row, and then we were told, oops, we ran out of money. You know, COVID is really exposing for us the way that inequality plays out in America, but continue to raise hell. Your voice really matters. So be sure not just to contact your representatives, but also just to go online and ask people, how can you help me during this time? I think that one of the things that coronavirus has taught me is that that entrepreneurial spirit, that hustle, it's been eight years that I've been working on that business that still lives within me. Even if I don't have everything figured out, if I can just put myself out there relentlessly and shamelessly because I love my business, it's very inspiring to people to want to show up for me too.